Hi, my name is Steve Spiker. I'm going to show you OpenShift Origin version 3. I'm going to highlight how I can go from essentially uh, nothing on my my local uh, host operating system, Mac OS X. Uh, only thing I have installed is Docker, boot to Docker, and uh, VirtualBox. And I'm going to um, pull the Docker image. I'm going to um, get it up and running, uh, do some setup as an admin, and then I'm going to uh, deploy an application. So I'm going to go uh, essentially zero to PaaS and then from uh, PaaS a deployed environment. So act as a kind of a set up the, the admin uh, piece real quick and then move to the development. So here we go. So I can see I have no processes running. I have no previous containers uh, running. I'm going to uh, use one of my helper scripts here um, to uh, get it kicked off and running. So basically it's just going to um, set a flag on the, the Docker daemon so I can run with the insecure registry because I just want to run locally to do test development, uh, just uh, demo and uh, I'll play around with it a little bit. So, And then also it'll perform the uh, Docker run. Uh, it'll run the, the OpenShift uh, origin uh, container and it will set a number of flags that I'll need. I'll uh, do a few things that will help with my development such as uh, setting the subdomain to be something different that I can easily map to uh, my local DNS so I can wildcard uh, dot apps and uh, I'll just go ahead and kick that off. So uh, basically it uh, I had already fetched the the image from Docker Hub already um, you can see I have in the background here the instructions from the OpenShift origin repository, which is a, a, a slight variant on what's here. Um, the Docker image is, is pulled from here. Now I, uh, I'll flip back and I'll log on. I'll actually bash into the uh, image running OpenShift origin. So what I'm going to do here is just do a few sort of steps that you typically do. So a lot of this can I automate, but I'm just going to walk you through. Uh, so first, I want to create a router. Next, I want to create a registry. I'm creating it in the default namespace. Uh, and then I'm going to set up some image streams uh, so I can uh, have various builder images. Uh, going to highlight specifically Node.js and I'm going to set up uh, HT password just for a single user so I'll be running as a different user as opposed to uh, the cluster admin. So a quick fetch, add myself the file and set up my account and that's basically it. So if I switch back to the web console it should load now. I'll have to uh, prove that to go through. Now I use my account. Now I'm a developer logged in for the first time. I have nothing here so let me create a project. I'll do my Node.js example, fill in the needed fields. Now I'm going to get started by creating from a Git, existing GitHub repository. Ahead and build, select the Node.js builder. Looks good. Uh, it's just going to take the default, so I could uh, modify these as needed, but uh, they'll work for my case. And I have now um, the various resources I need to build this project from source, and so I'll go in. And we see the build configuration here. It's created from me. I'll kick off a manual build. Um, 
went from pending to running. You can see also the various things that have defined. So there's a deployment definition. Um, no image streams, uh, the build pod, uh, the service is the Node.js service we're going to expose. If we wanted to, we could watch the various events as it's uh, continuing through the different cycles, or it could remain at the overview page. Uh, the first build takes a little time as uh, it's just moving a couple images around uh, to build our image and then applying the source and then producing another image and then moving uh, it to the registry and then deploying that image. Uh, I have also no uh, quotas or uh, settings. I just took the, the quick default uh, example setup. The overview page has the ability to select the different resources and get the details in the side bar. Uh, the build has completed. Go back and see as a deployment has been kicked off and it is running. The application has been deployed. Now we can just select the route and see the application run, which is a simple Node.js echo service, highlighting uh, some data from the, the, the virtual machine it's running on. Uh, some of the scripts I've shown are uh, available in my GitHub repo, uh, OpenShift-Tools. Thank you.